Hey everybody, Shayla and I welcome you back. Um, as you can probably see right away, we both have matching arm injuries. Um, she got a little, a little boo boo on her paw. Um, yeah, I apparently uh, have like tendonitis or just a really bad ligament in injury, so that's why I have like a bionic arm. Um, and then Shayla's just got a sore paw because she won't stop licking herself. Um, but anyways, thank you so much for coming back for another video. Um, today I'm going to talk about all the different things that I've gotten together for school. So how my program works is that for the majority of the year all of my classes are online. And then throughout the summer we're supposed to go to school for... Um, in-person classes, hands-on stuff, so all your clinical stuff. Due to COVID, uh, that changed, so now I'm only going to be doing that for four weeks instead of four months. So um, it kind of sucks, but at least I still get to go. It's better than nothing. And here's hoping my arm doesn't jeopardize any of that education. Right? Um, so anyways, um, I have a ton of stuff that I've gotten together for school. Some of it is stuff that I already had um, that I either purchased or I was given to as a gift. Um, and then some of the stuff I went out and bought specifically for school. They did give us a list of things that we needed um, and the list got a little bit bigger when uh, everything happened with COVID just because we can't share anything so if you are in a vet tech program and you're wondering kind of what you're going to need to bring to school um, hopefully this video gives you a good idea so first things first obviously i'm going to be bringing a backpack so i just have one of these jansport backpacks and i've had this for a really long time but i wanted to show it because i actually got this at a thrift store for like under ten dollars and it's actually a really good quality backpack. Um, I don't know how long it'll last with carrying a lot of heavy books, but this is what I have right now, so that's what I'm taking. And then, um, obviously it's gonna be filled with all my regular books and laptop and pencil case and stuff, but I wasn't gonna fill that up right now. If you want a separate video about like what I put in my bag for school, I can do that. Um, just let me know. But some things that I got uh, that I just put in for now is a lock. I guess I'm going to get a locker um, wherever I go, so that's pretty standard. I got a big thing of hand sanitizer because I'm going to be very vigilant about um, my sanitizing practices when I come home from class just because I'm going to be with other students. Um, I already have a small bottle, but I didn't think it would last me the month, so I got another one, and then I just take moisturizer with me everywhere so that's just that's just already in this bag <laughs> um oh and then pens because they told us we should go out and make sure we have a really good stockpile of pens um because we can't share our pens absolutely no sharing so that's just what i have in my bag for for right now um basic stuff so to start i guess um like the most basic thing and one of the most exciting things i think about um you know going to school for uh, pretty much any sort of medical related career is getting your scrubs so um or maybe that's just me i don't know <laughs> um but basically when it was going to be for the whole summer they said we needed uh, at least a week's worth of scrubs but then, with now that we're only going there for a month, um, they said you only need one pair of scrubs. But I don't want to have to clean my scrubs every single night, so I went somewhere in between and I got three scrubs. Um, so basically, here they are. And the first pair was actually a gift that I already had, which is really nice because scrubs are pretty expensive. And I will show you guys, I'll, I'll put these all on. but. I just have a navy blue pair with the standard um, like kind of flared leg and these are actually these are by Cherokee and I think they're the 
the Grey's Anatomy edition. I don't know, I may have that wrong, so don't quote me on that. But they're very, very nice scrubs, and I'm very thankful that my friend gave them to me. And then I have um, a gray set. And I have a black set. So I'm very exciting. I am really adventurous with color, as you can see. Um, I just, I just wanted, um, I wanted to look clean and put together and professional. Um, and they're all just so universal and whatnot. So. Um, I also say that and I got a pink stethoscope, so. Anyways, it's just my comfort zone, so that's what I went with. Um, and I think the gray and the black sets I can interchange, like I can wear the tops with the bottoms and stuff, so that'll be good. Um, and then I just got, we needed some, we needed closed toe and closed heel shoes, which was disappointing because I already have like nurse crocs um, so it's just like the slip-on clogs without any holes um, that I've been wearing for my uh, other job but they don't work because they're not technically closed heeled so I just went to Walmart and got some really cheap um, like sneakers I really like them actually um, these were one of like the only pairs I tried on that actually had decent enough support a lot of them were like not wearing shoes at all. It was awful. <laughs> um, yeah, they're not the prettiest, but um, they work. And I wanted, uh, I liked the idea of getting white ones so that I could tell when they're dirty and um, when they're clean. So that'll be my whole attire, pretty much. Um, and then the stuff that I'll um, be putting in my scrubs. So, um, oops. So I have this little um, notebook, you pull out this pen and it opens up. I think this was my sister's and she didn't want it anymore and I thought it would fit perfect in a scrub pocket. So I have that just in case I need to take notes on anything and I don't have a book with me. I can just have this in every pocket and just, um, you know, be prepared. And then a little calculator. Um, I'm terrible at math, terrible at simple math in particular. Um, it's just, it's my weakness, so <laughs> I'd rather just have a calculator with me at all times to double check my math. Um, okay, I'm really noticing, I have really weird shoulders, <laughs> and I'm noticing how lopsided they are in this video, and it's driving me nuts. Um, so if any of you look at this and are like, wow, this girl's got a problem with her shoulders. I know, and, um, yeah. <laughs> Next, I have, um, some nail clippers, some cat nail clippers, and some dog nail clippers. I already had these, and they weren't on the list of things we needed, but I thought it would just be handy to have, because I feel like you're constantly cutting animal nails, and it, it just never never hurts to have them so I've got those and then we were we were required to get a thermometer um, and some uh, bandage scissors these aren't actually bandage scissors my bandage scissors are in the mail they're on their way here but we're just gonna pretend that these are them specifically just for this vlog what's wrong what's wrong? I'm not giving her t attention so she's upsetty spaghetti. <laughs> oh and then some accessories for my everyday outfits are headbands are ideal especially the thick ones 
just keeping your hair out of your face. My favorites are the ones from Lululemon. Um, so I have those and then we needed a watch. So I just got this off Amazon. I don't think it was too expensive. I got this version because um, it counts your steps as well, which is pretty thick. Um, and then, of course, my stethoscope it is beautiful. If you watched my last video, you saw all about that. So there's that. No, don't itch. Don't itch. That's okay. That's okay. Good. Good. Um, and then we needed um, lab coats. So I just have two different lab coats. They're very boring. They're not the nicest looking, but just cheap ones for now. Um, so I have those. Bubby, bubs, 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 don't itch, don't itch, don't itch, that's okay, that's okay. And then, um, kind of something fun is that I um, had to get coveralls um, for working in the barn, so um, yeah, something interesting, a little different that you don't need for you know, just regular school supplies. I mean, like, almost nobody needs coveralls for school supplies. And along with that um, were steel toe rubber boots. I got these, just, I don't remember where I got these. They, I don't know. I think I got one of these items from Mark's Work Warehouse and the other just online, I think. Um, but these were actually really hard to find. I went into a store, multiple stores, looking for women's work boots, steel toe rubber boots, and they, like, nowhere had them. And I'm like, but women work too, you know. Um, so these are Helly Hansen work boots. And I think they will do the trick. They're pretty good. I got my um, I got my scrubs from a giant tiger, the ones that I did buy, and they've got the like cuffed bottoms, which are really nice um, because I'm short and regular ones tend to drag on the floor. And then I got um, pretty much everything else uh, from online. And oh, the other thing I wanted to show. This Lululemon jacket, uh, I was wearing it in my last video, but it's so nice. It's like my new favorite thing. Um, but I got this also at the thrift store, and I got it specifically for school because I wanted to have like a sports kind of jacket to wear over my scrubs. So that's probably a good idea to consider having one of those as well. that's everything so uh, if you have any questions about where I got anything or how I chose what items I was going to get um, and from where then definitely leave a comment and I will get back to you otherwise hopefully I'll see you at my next video thanks so much for watching bye